Today we are going to see what you have to do once you have paid the SEDEX membership fees. It is not enough to pay the fees. Once you have paid the fees, you should be able to add the sites. For this, you have to click on my company and my company. Once you click, a page will come which will have company information, general information, billing information and site information. As you can see presently, you don't have any site, which means you cannot get your site audited by any audit company. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to click on add site on the same page and then add basic sites and add site. A site can be shared and you can, uh, you can also fill a self-assessment questionnaire. But for a basic site, you cannot complete an SAQ. Please note, it is very important for if you are getting your, your site audited by a SEDEX approved agency, 90% of the agencies, good agency, will require a self-assessment questionnaire to be filled by you. So do not click on add basic site. Please go ahead and click on add site. Once you click on add site, a form will come. You can repeat the name of your company here. Company here, put the address, city, in and country, postcode, primary activity. You can you can click here for for getting more more uh, information. You can search your products and business type. You you are generally is going to be if you are a manufacturer, you will select goods. If you are a service provider, you will select service provider. If you are a labor provider, you will select a labor provider. Okay. Then here you are going to business license information. If you have a factory license, please give a factory license. If you have a GST number, you can get a GST number. If you have a corporate identification number, which is if you are a limited company or a private limited company, you can get your corporate identification number and you can put here. It is recommended do not put your tax identification number. If you don't have anything, then you can go ahead and put your tax identification number. But better is you put your corporate identification number. Now, business license expiration date. Some In some countries, there is a possibility that you will get a business a business license with an expiration date. But in many countries, this is not there. So you can leave this. Do you use a labor provider? This means do you do you use a, a agent who is only supplying you labor? If you click, if this is the situation, then you select this. And does the number of the workers you employ fluctuate across this year because of seasonal work? So if there if there is a, a seasonal variation, then accordingly you select yes or no. And then you can get, you can select, you can put your worker information. This is very important. You have to put all your worker information for this particular site. Okay. On site, especially if you have a permanent site, then you have to select permanent and temporary and agency. Agency means subcontracted labor. Labor which is not on your roles, but labor which is which is working on your premises and you and it is not paid directly by you but it is paid indirectly through an agent to to the to the workers okay once you select all these three types of permanent temporary and agency worker then you can put your administrator email id and then submit 